had to actually go to these places physically before they were actually transformed to act on it. And I'm wondering if that is what is required for all Americans to go through that process in order to feel truly connected to that struggle and wanting to transform it. Because before those that group of people went to Ghana in Cuba, they weren't as wanting they weren't as um passionate about acting. Clearly, even, it changed even, them. Even it's after true. reading the documents about their family's history, mm -hmm. looking at the you know, mm -hmm. gruesome you know, facts. Mm -hmm. And what also struck me was that one of the ladies said that she buys a lot of stuff today made by people getting paid far less than what they can get paid. And so just connecting it to the present day is pretty, is pretty powerful. Okay. Yeah, it's, uh, yeah, I don't, uh, thank you for, you know, sharing this, you know, it's, uh, I, uh, I hadn't, you know, my son told me about this when I was in the plant company, but, uh, well, you know, I don't, every day, you know, of my existence, you know, I, this is a, uh, I mean, it's me, I'm sure, you know, each person is different, but, uh, Living in this country, in my you know just my whole experience, my life experience, I don't know how to live the day where this thought of slavery, you know, because it's so deeply rooted in this country. You know, when I, when I was, I mean, I was born in the Philippines, you know, I can't even really understand, but you know, this whole history and legacy is, you know, something that I haven't lived the day not thinking of it, you know, in some way or another. You know, so it's in the you know in the back of my mind, you know, because. And you know, every every day you, you walk around, you know, you come across, you know, people of color, right? Or you know, just different people, you know. But the fact that uh, it, it is so deep in this issue that uh, you know, it's uh, you know, runs deep in my you know my heart and my mind and you know just my whole thought process. So you know, seeing something like this and uh, and I've thought about this in, in different levels. You know, I've never I haven't seen this film and you know I've, and. Uh, and I, so, but it, you know, everything in the movie, you know, cuts deep in my thought process that I've, you know, again, in my whole, that I've lived through. And, and so I, you know, I, that's why I want to, that's why I really appreciate it. And, uh, um, and, you know, uh, this is my son. And so I already said it, but we sort of, we're thinking the same thing too when he said about, you know, how, you know, how the whole of the American population can benefit from a similar journey and, and, and move through the same. And, and you know, you're talking about a whole country that has different, a whole, or each person has a different history and relationship to slavery, you know, whether they're related to someone they have ancestors. Probably a lot of people do in some form or another, but they probably don't even realize it. But that's not even the point. The point is that, you know, uh, most people in this country probably have whether they have a direct, whether they know it or not, they have a direct lineage from, from slave owners, they still, you know, have, they live in this country, me, you know, everybody else. And, and, and so there's this legacy that we all share and, and, you know, we need to, you know, have, have to come to some terms with that. And, and I think, you know, and this is, that's what's so amazing about this film, there's, a, you know, there's that process of coming to terms with that, but then, you know, there's still a whole lot of, there's a long road, like I was saying, that has to be traveled, that, you know, a lot of people have to come to terms with that, and, and you know, how, and, you know, so that's why it flashed me, how, how can we make that happen, you know, how we, can we make this whole country go through this journey, and come to the other side, and, and you know, and, and, and really, uh, you know, and stop thinking about it the way we continue to think about it, and probably will continue to think about it, for a while, I hope, you know, I hope not, but, you know, that that whole, uh, you know, thought process will continue for a while until we, you know, a lot of people go through this journey, right? And, and, uh, and you know, I guess the more people can see this or, 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 or similar things and go through this journey, then the sooner we will get to that point that, we, you know, that is being talked about where, you know, where the country can come to terms with its, 
its legacy of slavery, and then start to you know take some action, or, or you know say you know take some responsibility each in, in you know each person in their own way, right? To look at that and say, okay, I'll, you know I'll take some responsibility and, and no longer start to equivocate and to and to you know to you know to, to or to not think about it most of the time, you know, because most. Most people probably, you know, think about slavery or, or, you know, the legacy of that slavery at one point or another in their in their everyday lives. But most of the time, they probably, it's, you know, it's quickly just, you know, pushed to the back, and, and that's why, you know, they don't have to deal with it. You know, you just deal with what you know your day to day needs, right? So, you know, until that time that you know everybody starts to think of it, and you know, in this sense, and say, okay, I, you know, I need to. Think of it and really, you know, what's my responsibility, you know, to to it. Then, you know, then that'll be the, I guess, the the mountain top, you know, whatever. You know, I mean, like this metaphor, but anyway, sorry, so I'm wrong, but that's no, no, that's, that's, no, no, uh, no, no, no. You don't have to be yeah. sorry about anything. Here. Actually, I was very interested in what you were saying. Mm -hmm. I found it uh, actually stimulating mm -hmm. listening to you. Mm -hmm. All right. Now, let me just, I, I apologize because I was a little team bit late, you remember, I went to, so we didn't actually introduce ourselves. My name is Gerald. Anka. 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 Jogi. Wits. Arkadi. Okay. Well, let's, let's, let's stay on this a minute because what we want to accomplish here is a deeper understanding of the struggle for black liberation, you know, than we normally would get through the normal educational process. Now look, when I say we're going to study black liberation, it's not because I'm not a black nationalist, okay? But the study of black liberation is the missing page of the study for human liberation. And actually, as we study it, you will see that they really can't be separated. And I hope, you know, you'll come to realize that through the course of our studies. But you'll see, too, that you can't really appreciate where we stand as a species without understanding what is called academically the black question. That's what it's called at you know, the university level. The, but the education you're going to receive here will be a lot deeper than that. Because we want to start off very simply. Let's go around on this. To you, from your understanding, from your experience, what does the word exploitation mean? Please. Um, taking more of others than you're willing to give back. Okay. Using people for the sake of profit or taking advantage? Taking advantage. What she said. Well, what you what she said. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> taking more from people than giving back what they was fairly their right to. They deserve in return. Okay. Like a fair exchange. Okay. Yeah, to me, it's uh, I look at a historical sweep, and uh, I mean it's it's, it's probably a uh, thing that's existed, you know, from the earliest times, I would think. And uh, and I know you mentioned uh, before we, when we got here, you mentioned capitalism, but you know it's probably existed before capitalism. You know, correct. Before the different, you know, was, I know they talk about. Uh, Feudalism and before that, you know, slavery or something. Well, anyway, they're different, you know. Uh, but I mean, the point is, is that it has existed, you know, for a long time. And then, uh, I guess, but to, I guess for me, in terms of relevance, I guess capitalism is, you know, it's just, you know, it's probably it. because that's what we live in today, right? So it, it's that's really the core or the I mean, I, I think that's probably partly why you're getting to it, but you know, is is to uh, or you know how how.